The videos of mine that tend to get the most views are the ones in which I recount my most embarrassing mistakes or excruciatingly cringe moments. And you might be wondering, why are you telling us that you pantsed your crush in kindergarten, that you teased your current boss in high school? Haven't you any shame? And to answer that, uh, yeah, shame is probably my third most frequently occurring emotion after guilt and anger. Nonetheless, it is simply not possible to go through life without fumbling the ball every now and again, or if you're like me, over and over again. I like to share my mistakes and misfortunes for your entertainment, with the knowledge that I survived those moments and learned from them. Now that I work with kids, I'm able to have a lot more compassion for the complex kid I used to be. Kids are extremely dumb and can be really mean, but they're also so sweet and funny and interesting and open and curious and struggling and resilient, and it's simply not possible for me to hold any of their mistakes against them. So why would I hold my old mistakes against myself? That being said, I literally just embarrassed myself at a movie theater last night. So on the bright side, as long as the internet is fascinated by cringe, I will have content ideas in perpetuity.